Look at the two eye. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I just searched up the CFSC and turns out it's a new reality filament system unit with the Hello, welcome to the Scratch 3 printing. In this video, I'm gonna be upgrading the K2 Plus and created print. Let's scratch today's topic. Recently, my K2 Plus cannot be printed with Creality Print anymore. It's not that it cannot print. It's when I press the print button and send it to the 3D printer, it cannot print automatically. It will send the file to the 3D printer, but it does not print. I have to manually go onto the screen of the K2 Plus, click the file, select my color, and then click print. Which usually in the past on the Creative Print or any slicers that you can connect your 3D printer to, you slice a mono, you click print, and then it will send the file over to the 3D printer and print automatically. But recently, that has not been working for me. And there's a new version of Creative Print and also on the K2 Plus. So I'm going to be regretting Creative Print and also on the K2 Plus to the latest firmware and see if this will solve the problem. Without further ado, let's go to the K2 Plus and then check out Creative Print what updates we have. I just started up my K2 Plus right now and we have a new update right here. So I'm going to quickly go over this and see what they have added. So this is the new version 1.1.4.8. This is the early access version. Number one, disassemble the T command. I'm not quite sure what that is. If anybody know what the T command is, let me know. Uh, number two, optimize the process of logic of some code error. Okay. Optimize the UI interface and copywriting display. Add the function for users to customize machine name. Okay, that is pretty cool, I guess. Update the bearer point data in protocol. Okay, nothing with the print. Add feedback after printing is complete. Okay. Update the closed loop motor firmware and parameters. Okay. Optimize the color calibration logic. Fix many known issues to improve user experience and product stability. I'm gonna download this and hopefully this is gonna fix the problem where I send print and it will print on the K2 Plus. So now let's head over to Creative Print and see the latest firmware. Okay, we are now in Creality Cloud, and this is the latest version, 6.3.1.3548. And this has been out for two weeks now, and I just got to it. Support for CFSC. Wait, what? What is the CFSC? I just searched up the CFSC, and turns out it's a new Creality Filament System unit with the C. Not quite sure what this is. Maybe it's for Colorful? I don't know, but... Wow, look at this. What? Why didn't I know of this? This is the CFSC and this is all the CFSC. So what is this? Um, Compatible? Okay, it's always compatible with the KO Max. Why didn't this come out when the kit came out? I want this one instead of the regular one. Okay, but let's see. External cutter and buffer. Oh, okay. Minimum waste, neat state. Okay. So if we look here, right? The CFSC, it looks like it's cutting the filament versus other, which is the normal purging. No filament purge, no purge needed. Okay, filament debris inside the printer. Okay, wow. If this is good, this might change multicolored 3D printing like a lot. Multiple CFSC units, it's not supported. So maybe this one you can only get four colors. Wow, that is really interesting, really cool. But from the look of this, right, it's only compatible with the K1 series, not the K2 series. So, I don't know, when is the product gonna come out? Hopefully it comes out soon because I want this and to test it. That is very interesting. Now I'm interested in that. Going to number two, firmware interface upgrade for K2 series 3D printer, synchronize, stuff like that. One-click parameter setup support for PDG and PLA, support material, okay? Select it as mutual support. Fix the issue with the angle would automatically change after flattening a model by face. Optimize the failure prompt when uploading print files. So this could have been it with a new link to the wiki troubleshoot. Okay, so maybe hopefully it's fixed. Hopefully it's fixed. Fix the issue where top show layer parameter did not take effect where this person sent to zero. Optimize UI custom material creation. Fix issue where clone window cannot be dragged. Fix issue where the selecting hybrid tree support and checking the only generate on build play option did not work. I'm gonna download this and gonna try to send a print to my 3D printer and see if that works. We are now in the new version of Creality Print. I'm gonna click uh, I'm just gonna print a cube 50 millimeters just because I want it a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna click print I don't know why um, sometimes it just does not work 
it didn't work the first time, I restarted my K2 Plus, I restarted Creative Print, and if we look at the top here, Filament, we see that there's a CFS, which we can click this, and it will auto map everything for us. Which, um, <laughs> it kind of screwed up, so I got two CFS connected to my 3D printer, but whatever, since that worked. We're just going to add a cube here, click send print, yeah, look at that, it worked, so, um, start print. Okay. Under decompression. Okay. There we go. So let's head over to the K2 Plus. And guess what? Nothing. Nothing happened. But look at that. That looks so cool. The new layout and stuff like that. That is amazing. We're gonna look at this. That did not work. I don't know why. If anybody know what is the problem, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, this has also changed. So. Earlier, there was no camera here, and this was at the top, but now it's changed. They had the camera, which is a pretty nice touch. I'm going to try this, so I can select my device, right? And I'll try to select the one down here, Creality Cloud. Never done this before. The logo always works, but let's just give this a try and see what happened. Download G code. Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, so let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Now that work. So the logo does not work, but the Creality Cloud work. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. But we're just gonna look at this. So scratch. So we look there. It says scratch, right? So that's gonna be my scratch 3D account, which is amazing. And this is the model. Wow, all the new layout interface like this is so cool. I think this looks so much more clean than the original one. What is this? Exclude. Okay, that's the exclude object. So it's right there. Then gives you the time your temperature, your bed, your chamber, the light, pause, we can stop. Let's go to the file and see what's different. Um, nothing, pretty much is different. Pretty much the same thing, um, at least the words are not overlapping. What about the local file? Same thing. The setting, same thing. This is just, everything is just the same thing. Can we change this now? Nope, we still cannot change it. The only main difference is this. I'm gonna stop this. One thing I don't really like about Creality 3D Printer is that it takes a very long time to pause to stop the 3D Printer. The other blue one, on the other hand, when you click stop, it automatically stops whatever it's doing. It's not heating, it's just stop right there and then, which is amazing, I like that. So if your local device does not work, Try the Creality Cloud device and see if that works for you. This definitely works for me. There we go. I finally stopped. It took long enough, K2 Plus. There we go. Print feedback. We can do that also. Not satisfy. <laughs> Print fail. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <gasps> Look at the two eye. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. So the interface home has been completely redesigned. I really like this. This looks so much more cleaner than what it used to before. Uh, let's see the light now. There we go, it worked. You can see your CFS here, spool holder. You can click to access file, which basically just jumped in here. So it's pretty much the same thing. You just have this cool animation and just look a little bit more modern, if you were so to say. And you can access your account really fast up there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else, everything is the same. That's the only difference and I like it. Are you working on a project and don't have the power to power that project? Well, here I am, Scratch 3D battery. It ranges from 1S, 2S, 3S, and all the way to 4S battery pack 18650. High quality pack from Scratch 3D battery. If your project requires all types of battery, I got you covered. All types of connection, I got you covered. All the way from XT60 to JSTXH 2.54 millimeter, JSTXM Dean connectors, all types of connector, balance charger, anything you need. Scratch 3D battery have it. Link will be in the description down below on my eBay store. By upgrading the K2 Plus to the latest firmware and Creality Pen to the latest firmware, or the latest software, it still did not fix the send print over to my 3D printer. The logo one does not work, but the Creality Cloud version does work. So if you have a problem by sending print to your K2 Plus or your 3D printers from Creality, or just maybe any 3D printers in general that has the logo and the cloud, try switching to the cloud and see if that works. That works for me, but I would still like for the logo to work as well as the cloud. But as long as it works, I'm totally fine with it. 
and I figure out that there's a new CFS C coming. So from the look of that, it seems that it's just cut the filament. It is not purge, or maybe it's gonna purge inside your print. So that seems really cool to me. I hope that unit comes out soon and I hope you can test it. If not, I will just buy it. And the K2 Plus has a new interface for its screen on the home page, which looks really cool in my opinion. So if you haven't have these new firmware yet, go ahead and download for yourself. I think it's worth it and I think it's gonna make the 3D printer print a lot better. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below. Let me know your experience in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming. And if you haven't yet become a member of the YouTube channel, thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.